Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about short selling. So we're just gonna start off by talking about what short selling is, if you don't already know, uh, and how that sort of compares to, and how that's opposed to buying long into a stock. And I'm gonna give you an example to show you how it works and how you make money through short selling. And then we're gonna jump into why I personally don't short sell stocks, why I have never done it in the past, and why I never intend to do it in the future. And of course, why you should follow the exact same methodology, this exact same mindset that I have uh, when it comes to short selling and why it's a really, really bad thing, especially for beginners to fall into the trap of thinking that this is a way that you should be investing your money. If you do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and let me know your thoughts on short selling down in the comment section below. I'm excited to hear some of your opinions on this topic uh, and I will be answering all of your questions down there and having a bit of discussion with some of you. So make sure you do that. But for now guys, Let's jump into it. So let's just start off by defining what short selling is for those who don't know what it is and who have never come across the term. Or maybe you've come across the term, but you've just never looked into what it is. So what is it? Short selling is simply the sale of a stock that the seller has borrowed. The reason that someone would do this is because it allows you to make a profit on a stock even when the stock price is falling. So instead of making a profit when the stock price goes up, Short selling allows you to make a profit when the stock price goes down. Now you may have heard of uh, selling short or going long in a stock. Short and long are kind of these opposites. If you're going long in a stock, you're making money when it's going up. So you're buying into the stock, it goes up in price and you sell it. Short selling is where you borrow a stock and you sell it on the market. And I'll show you an example of how that works. But essentially, if you're short selling a stock, you're hoping or that you, you're hoping that it's going to go down because you're going to make a profit if it goes down. So let's just quickly run through a short example so that I can show you how it works because it's a little bit confusing. You might be wondering how can you possibly make money if a stock is going down, but it's quite cool. So let's first imagine that we have stock A and that is trading at $100 per share in the market. And you also have reason to believe that this stock is going to go down. So you're looking to profit from stock A declining in value in the future. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going to borrow one share of stock A because you don't have any of stock A at the current time. So in order to sell that, we need to borrow it. And that's exactly what we're doing with short selling. The first step is that we need to sell a stock. So we're gonna borrow one stock of st uh, one share of stock A uh, from someone, from a lender. And remember, we need to return that stock at a later date. So we just need to keep that in the back of our mind. We need to return that stock. So we take that one stock that we've borrowed and we sell it on the market. And because the current market price is $100 per share, that's how much money we get back from stock A, $100 per share. So let's now say that six months has gone by and the stock price for stock A is now $50 per share. So it's dropped 50% from $100 per share, which is where we initially sold it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to buy back the stock at $50 per share. So we buy one share at $50. So we use our $100 that we made from the sale six months ago. We use 50 to pay down the stock and we've still got $50. So we now hold $50 in cash and one share of stock A. And now what we can do is we can return the share of stock A to the lender. We just give it back. And then that transaction is done. We borrowed the share and we gave it back except now we're $50 richer because the stock price fell and we only, we sold it at 100 and then we bought it back at 50. So we profited the difference. We profited from the decline in the stock price. Then we can categorize short selling in two different ways, hedging and speculation. Hedging is where you're making bets in two directions on the same stock in order to sort of give yourself some insurance in, in case that you're wrong. So if you're going long in a stock, if you're buying that stock and hoping that it goes up so you can sell it for more in the future and you want to hedge that bet, you can short sell that same stock. So you're betting that it's going to go up and you're betting that it's going to go down at the same time. And that way, if it goes up, you make money. And if it goes down, you don't lose as much because you've also got a position that says that you make money if it goes down. The act of reducing your downside risk is called hedging. And that's why we call this hedging. Uh, so if you hear that anywhere in the stock market, that's what that term means. It just means that you're reducing your downside risk by making bets in two different directions. Alternatively, you could just short sell a stock without having a long position. So you don't hedge your bets in two different directions. You're just betting that it's going to go down. 
Uh, and this would be called a speculation because essentially, even though there is a high potential for reward, a high potential for a high return out of short selling a stock, there is a high risk associated with this. So what is this high risk that is associated with short selling? And essentially it's the one reason or it's one of the main reasons why I will never short sell a stock. And that's because the losses can be unlimited. When you buy into a stock, in the absolute worst case scenario, that company behind the stock goes bankrupt and you make a 100% loss. Now a 100% loss sounds bad, but at least your losses are capped at 100%. You can't lose more than what you put in. If you invest $1,000, you can lose $1,000, that's it. You can't lose $10,000 or $20,000. However, the same is not true when you're short selling. Let's go back to that example that we had earlier in the video in order to explain how the losses of short selling can be unlimited. So we're gonna keep the same stock A, it's originally $100 per share, and we sell our one borrowed share for $100 on the market. That's all the same. But now, instead of the stock falling like we would like it to, Instead of it falling from 100 to 50, it actually goes up in price from 100 to 500. Remember, we need to buy back one share in the market and return it to the lender because we borrowed a share and we sold it for $100, but now we're looking at the stock price and we need to buy back a share for $500 per share just to return it to the lender. Now we have the $100 from the initial stock that we sold on the market. We borrowed one and sold it for 100, so we've got that. But then we're going to need to go into our pockets and find an additional $400 just to buy back the stock and return it. So you can see that the losses aren't limited at our initial investment, they're limitless. The stock price could keep going up. There's no, while the stock can only go to zero, it can go all the way up to whatever. Maybe this stock goes to 1,000 or 2,000 or $3,000 per share. And whatever that number it goes to, we have to buy it back in the market and return that share to the lender. Now, your broker, which is likely the lender of the stock in this circumstance, isn't gonna wait for the stock price to hit 500. Every time the stock goes up, the broker is going to ask you to make what is called a margin call, which is where you have to add additional funds so that, the, so that the broker knows that if the stock price goes up heaps, they have some kind of collateral that they can use in order to recover their losses. So in the chance that you default. Um, so they're gonna constantly ask you to keep adding to the position, uh, which is just increasing the amount of risk that you're taking because you're not getting anything better. You're just putting more and more collateral up as the stock price goes up. And this is why short selling is a really bad idea because the amount that you have to add is unlimited. When I invest in a stock, if it goes down or sideways for a very long time, that doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I really like those circumstances because it means that I can continue to add to the position while the market isn't valuing it correctly or isn't valuing it in the way that I think it should. I can just keep adding and adding to that position and I can wait throughout that time that the market isn't valuing it correctly. I can just wait and nothing's gonna happen. I can just hold on to the position. However, if you're down on a short position, meaning the stock price is going up when you're hoping that it goes down, you're going to constantly need to keep adding funds into your margin account just to keep the original deal in place. And while one bad pick going long in a stock can lose 100% of that position, which might be 15 or 20% of my portfolio if it's a really big part of my portfolio, if you have one bad short position, it can destroy your entire portfolio. Like the, if, if the stock goes up heaps and you can't afford to pay for it, the broker is gonna start selling your other shares in order to cover that position. So you could lose your entire portfolio from one short position. Whereas if you have a bad long position, it can't impact the rest of your portfolio. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Just a short one for me explaining how short selling is just a bad idea. Um, it's something you should really just not touch um, and you should just leave it on the side for people who want to speculate and sort of gamble in that way. You should just stick to investing long, finding really great businesses and getting them at the best prices you can possibly do. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.